Yeah, okay. this is a cool room. It's chill in here. Your lips look really good, awesome. babe. Do they? Yeah. Nice and shiny. Juicy. A little shiny. I don't a little know. Juicy. Just enough. Like, are they too no, they look no. juicy. No, there's no pink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they look great. <laughs> okay. You We're recording. Yep. Okay. Welcome to the Film Garage 208 <laughs> podcast. My name is Sarah and this is Daniel. Hello. Hello. Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy um, New Year. New Year. <laughs> New Year. Um, today we have with us Allie and Hunter Taylor. They are... The vision of maybe carriers. <laughs> You've seen that new business popping around this holidays, yes. selling out Epic over and baby over carriers. again. Yes, luxury baby carriers. Yeah, so we tell actually us just sold out again. Yeah, we did. Yes, yeah. yesterday. yesterday before, That's so exciting. Before twelve, yeah, under a week. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Since our super exciting. Stock. I mean, it's how many on times is that exciting, selling out now? Three times. Three. Like so, every time you dropped, you sold yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, the first time we sold out in a day. Last just time a few we hours. Sold out. Yeah. It's been like faster yeah. and faster each time. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've gotten more and more inventory, so it's taken a little bit longer to sure. sell out. Yeah. But like, but we actually this time we sold through more inventory faster than we sold through less inventory before. Right. So cool. It's crazy. That's it's so amazing. Exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're so grateful. It's just a surreal feeling, you know, because we we thought about this for a long time. We were yeah. like, what will it feel like to sell out? Yeah. You know, and it's just weird to be here now. I know. And, and it's like, happening. Yeah. It's not like. Not happening. It's happening. Yeah, yeah. it's happening. Yeah. It feels like we waited for so long and like talked about it and like every conversation and like it's all we thought about for so long. And now that we're like here, it's just crazy. I'm like, it, I can't believe that it's actually happening. We're actually selling these things. We're not just thinking about it and like yeah. hoping it's going to go well. Like we are in it and it's happening. And right. how yeah. many times do you get ideas and don't actually just follow through with yeah. it? And yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So I think that, the that's actions. the biggest thing is just like, I think everyone has ideas, right? But it's like yeah. following through on those ideas. I think that's what makes a difference in mm -hmm. actually starting something. Yeah. But it's scary. It's so scary. And, insane. you know, I'm sure we'll go into all that. But yeah. 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 How about let's do just tell us what your business is. Yep. Let the listeners know what your business is. Okay. So it's maybe we're a luxury baby carrier brand. And yeah, right now we just sell, we have one product and we actually are about to be expanding our line a little bit, but yeah, it's a baby carrier. It's kind of like a soft structured, um, almost like a cross between a wrap carrier and like those super structured, more like hiking sort of carriers. It's sure. kind of like you meet in the middle, you get the softness and the comfort of like a wrap carrier, but it's the convenience because you have the clips and like you can put it on yourself and it's, yeah. it's more supportive, like a structured carrier, but it's not so bulky and stiff and all those things. So it's yeah. like that perfect happy medium. Yeah. Yeah. It's Where, a really nice carrier. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Where did that idea come from? <sighs> so you struggling with bad carriers for a while and just, yeah. So we just had our first baby, um, a little over a year ago, he turned one on Thanksgiving and oh. that also I'm like, how <laughs> literally, <laughs> yeah, so I have literally. no idea how that happened so fast, but yeah. So really he's, I mean, I guess he's to thank for this business because I mean, I don't think we ever imagined ourselves getting into the baby space. Yeah, <laughs> but, I don't know. But yeah, after I had him, um, I feel like I was kind of in this like newborn, like new mom fog and like not knowing really, I don't know what life looked like with the new baby. And we were just trying to figure that out. And like all that uncertainty. Yeah. 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 yeah so just completely different. I mean, at 360. Literally. We, we, we were married for what, six years? Yeah. Before so we had we, him. We knew what our normal life looked like. For sure. So when we had a baby, it was like, okay, this is this is different. Yeah, yeah. For sure. It is. So I think it was a combination of us figuring that out and like navigating, like me navigating like who I was as a mom and struggling through that. And then the idea for maybe was born because we had a carrier that we had, like it's the one that I put on my registry. It's the one that I wanted. Hmm. And so we were gifted it and then we used it with him like several times we used it on our trip. We went on a trip to yeah. Hawaii and we used it there. And I think after we got back from that trip, I was like, oh my gosh, like actually going out and doing things with him, like that trip was so good for us. And yeah, we kind of learned like how to just get up and go and like, just figure it out, you know? Deal with and that. so that was kind yeah. of a light switch for me in motherhood. Like, okay, if I, I feel like that trip really kind of brought me back to myself. I'm like, okay, that's what I have to do to like be myself as a mom and figure out, kind of who I am in this new role. It's just doing the things that I would normally be doing and doing them with my baby. And it's like that much more fulfilling to do it with your child, like right there with you. Totally. Yeah. And so one of the ways that I wanted to kind of like start doing more things that I would normally do was to like wear him, like 
wear him on a walk, wear him to the mall, like whatever I'm doing. But the carrier that we had was just like not something that I really wanted to be like wearing with my outfits, you know? And yeah, you didn't enjoy putting it on. Yeah. Like, I, I, I wore it on the trip to Hawaii and I was like, this thing is nice. It's convenient to wear him, but it's I mean, also it does the job for sure. super bulky. And there was a bunch of like, was it the kind that had like the extra and, waist strap and like yeah, it's, straps coming from all sides? Mm-hmm. Like you don't even yeah. know what. And, exactly. Yeah. Well, like and it's it supportive, had, but definitely supportive, back but big. just so bulky. <laughs> yeah. And like, I couldn't put it of... on myself. That was the problem. Like, well, right. this doesn't help me because I have to have someone helping me put it on. And like, when I'm at home, that's the whole point. And like wanting to go out and do yeah. something while he's at work, like, that doesn't work for me. Yeah. And I also had like a wrap carrier. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm really going on lots of tangents here, yeah, <laughs> but I also had a wrap carrier and that was good for when he was a newborn. It's just like, so like I had to watch a video every time I needed to put <laughs> right? it on because I'm Literally. like, how do I do this? And like, am I doing the straps right? And anyway, so while that was nice, it felt inconvenient. And so I wanted something in between. I'm like, I like the feeling of the wrap carrier. I like the look of the wrap carrier. I like the support of the structured carrier, but I don't like the look of it. I can't put it on myself. And... So I was like, okay, there's got to be, like, yeah. there's got to be a carrier that I can get that I'll like better. Like, no big deal. So I like started looking to buy a new one and I was like, there's no way, there's no way there's not a carrier. <laughs> well, I think there was a few that we saw, but they were just like. Well, yeah, the prices are astronomical. Super yeah, so that's the thing is I didn't, like, I couldn't what? find one in my price range. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm not trying to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars literally on a carrier like i do already have one like so i wasn't trying to splurge that much Mm -hmm. so yeah there's definitely a few out there that are a lot more spendy and i was just like i don't know like i can't be the only person who wants a nice carrier that's cute yeah and Mm -hmm. convenient and comfortable and all the things that you want in a carrier for like a price that makes sense for kind of the everyday mom like me Mm -hmm. and so i think we kind of saw that gap in the market. And yeah, you did first. I mean, you were searching for it, yeah, right? Yeah. You were like looking online, couldn't find anything. Yeah. I think you mentioned it to me right after Brooks was born. You were like, I can't find anything mm-hmm. online. I'm like, I'm sure there's something. Like, you're just not like looking hard enough <laughs> yeah. or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, because I told him I was like, like the everything right is yeah. made. <laughs> right? Like, there's nothing that hasn't been made, I feel like. Uh huh. So, so I told him, yeah. I was like, I think, like, I think I have like a really, because I wanted to start a business. I had like this small business making cakes before I had my baby. Mm-hmm. And after I had him, I was like, I can't go back to that. Like, yeah. I, I just can't. Like, Would you I, kill I, it at? I mean, you did. That yeah. Awesome. And I loved it. And I did end up actually going back to it in between having him and then starting this business. So that's a whole other story. But, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so after I had Brooks, I was like, I know I want to work. I know I want to have something that fulfills me and like can help us like income wise. But I was like, it can't, it can't be cakes. Like I have to have something else. I want something more scalable. You I did want the math something. on how many cakes you have to make to get to where you want to be. <laughs> yeah. And like, no. Well, and it's just, that's no. something that's hard to do with him. Like, I don't know. And the carrier helps with that. I actually wore him in the carrier while I was doing, like, yeah. while I was still doing my cake yeah. business. So, but it's also, you need something where you're not literally doing that work yeah. mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah. Like having a product totally. to be able to just like push yeah. outside. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we thought about that. Like <laughs> yeah. even before we were like trying to think, okay, do we, do we take wake and cake to the next level? Do yeah. we open up a storefront? Do we do something like that? But and we threw the more that so we ran the numbers, we were just like, it just, is that the lifestyle that we want? Mm-hmm. Right? Your yeah. time and hours like, are just yeah, racking like up. Going in and baking yeah. these cakes and Crazy you know, hours. trying to hire people to do it yeah. for us. And it's yeah. like, it's a very custom thing. And so it's a we very were kind of already thinking <laughs> before yeah. Brooks was even born, we were thinking like, okay, how do we have a business that's scalable? Mm-hmm. You know, that's mm-hmm. that's similar to Wake and Cake because obviously you're incredible at marketing. And we saw yeah. that and she <laughs> built this Instagram following and like mm-hmm. it was, you know, people were just, coming from all places to buy these cakes and they weren't cheap like at eight, eight bucks a slice you know yeah. like yeah they weren't mm-hmm. cheap and so for sure i think we liked the idea of that but we we're like okay i think do, that gave me the implement bug. this in a yeah. different okay like the sales it bug. gave me exactly. the entrepreneur bug yeah, for, sure. for sure before did. that like i always would tell him because he's he's a born entrepreneur for yeah, sure and for like sure. he has <laughs> definitely kind of like pulled me into it a little bit more over time like ever since we've gotten married um like he's always been like that. And yeah. I used to always Born tell him, and we laugh so hard about this now, but I would always tell him, like, I don't know how you do that. Like, I don't understand. Like, that's amazing. But like, I just, I could never, I could never. Yeah. <laughs> I would always tell him that. And now we laugh about that because like, I love it so much now, but I just had never, I had never really thought about that for myself. Like it was always like, go to school, 
get a degree, get a job, which is great. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I think now that I've kind of experienced it, and I think people will tell you this about like starting a business, like once you do it once, you kind of experience how amazing it is. And you kind of, I don't know, I hear a lot of people talk about being like serial entrepreneurs or whatever. It's hard to go back. Yeah, for sure. Once you've had that little bit of taste of freedom. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure you guys have experienced that too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. With this first year being full time into this, like it's, yeah, we've never gotten better faster and yeah. just enjoyed our lives more. Totally. I mean, so much time going into it, way more time than yeah. when you work for someone been. else. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's, it's so much more fulfilling. Yeah, absolutely. It's so, so much more. It. Mm-hmm. And yeah. just like the knowledge that you are in control of it and mm-hmm. and you can spend as much time as you want on it. And the time that you do put in, you actually get back. Yeah, for right. sure. So. It's so much more fulfilling. Yeah. Totally. So what's your background then since you said you were pretty entrepreneurial? Yeah. So I've, I've you know, just dabbled in a few things. Uh, when I got home from my mission, Allie, actually, we were high school sweethearts. Oh, yeah. Okay. So okay. She, oh. Yeah. So she waited for me. I went to New Zealand on my mission. Cool. And came back and we moved to Utah. And um, I started with a, it was a startup company and it was a pretty big company. And, um, you know, they had multiple rounds of funding and you know, hmm. north of 25, 30 million dollars. And I was one of the first people there and I was like, okay, this is, this is it. Like, I feel like I have some stock options. Like this is, this is a really good thing for me. And I felt like I felt, fell into the right place at the hmm. right time. Um, but it, it was that kind of like, as it got bigger, it was kind of this like corporatized, you know, nine to five type thing. And I was just like coming in every day and working so hard and trying to, trying to grind and grinding for the man. Yeah. Grinding yeah. for the man almost. And I was like, this is just so not fulfilling. Yeah. For me so were you personally. like a project manager for I was a, businesses? Yeah. Or? I was a sales manager for, for this company. Uh-huh. And, um, I started out kind of just on the phones calling just it was, it was a tech company is, is what it was. So I was just calling business to business and trying to sell them on that. And Interesting. Um, yeah, good company, but I just was like, this isn't, this isn't the life I want. This isn't, you know, what I, what I want my day to day to look like. And so, um, I, I took a step back from that company and they actually went under a couple months after I kind of saw the writing <laughs> on the wall. Yeah. So it was kind of good timing. And yeah, that's when okay. we decided to, to move back to our, to our hometown, Idaho falls. And, and, um, I was like, I gotta, gotta do something that, you know, I, I can have control over my own schedule. I can be my own boss. I mean, that was something that I always wanted. So I got into yeah. real estate, okay. um, jumped into that game for a minute. And then a couple, like maybe even seven, eight months into real estate, I had an opportunity to open a mortgage company. Hmm. And so that's, that's kind of what, what, you know, I, I was like, this is exactly what I wanted, you know? So I, opened up that mortgage company. Um, and it's been pretty successful for the last few years. I opened up in 2020 and we, um, yeah, we've had some really good years ever since then. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. That's really so, cool. Started from watching someone else kind of run, run their show and yeah, learn honestly, what you needed to learn. And honestly, then... no, I kind of just jumped in and I was like, <laughs> I'm going to open up a branch in Idaho that's Falls. Big. So like, yeah, it's, you, know, you a just lot jumped of people straight from real estate to loans. Yeah. A lot so of people was it that time in real estate that gave you the confidence to do that? Cause I, think like, so. I wouldn't even know where to start. <laughs> Literally. I'm like, I don't know any, yeah. I don't yeah, know. I, I think so. And I'm just one where I'm like, I, it's better to learn on, on the job and doing it, <laughs> yeah. you know, and kind learn of learn by failure, down. you know, by sure. a little bit. And, and sure. so I, it definitely gave me the confidence, the real estate, um, industry, the market was at an all time high. I mean, rates were super low and people were just buying. So I was like, I'm going to open this up. And, mm-hmm. and, um, you know, I, I had a good, a, a couple of good mentors that kind of helped me and guided yeah. me. And so that's when I decided to, to do that. And it's been, it's been really good, but yeah. I think we're, we're always searching for kind of the next thing that can be even bigger and have more of an impact for sure. You know, and that's, and that's where her constantly great idea came in. Things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and we've always had a goal to start a business together. Like we have this five year plan that we did. I think it's been three years ago now. And one of the things on that plan was to start our own business that like we both had a little bit of a hand in and that we could do together. And I think one of the coolest things about starting this together is just being able to dream together and mm-hmm. like, I think that's definitely something that Hunter has taught me. Like I said, I didn't really have that mindset, but I feel like one of the things that I'm most grateful for is that he really has like taught me how to dream. And I feel like we're seeing so much of like the reward of that 
yeah, right now. It's totally. like we're I feel like we're living our dream and yeah. it's just so cool. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. So I'm impressed that you made this baby carrier idea. Like your kid's only a year old. Yeah. You've done this so fast. <laughs> yeah, it's been relatively so, fast. I mean, it feels like fast and slow, yeah. but we had the idea. I think that initial time that I talked to you about the idea was like January. I, I specifically remember sitting in the rocking chair in my son's nursery and like holding him. I don't, I was like probably feeding him or something. And I remember like calling Hunter and I'm like, babe, come here. I have an idea. And I like told him about it. And like that memory is burned in my brain. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, yeah, but like yeah, if you hadn't we started said that you might have just never been here. Yeah, yeah. I know, which is crazy, but a I lot think, of inspiration. In I that think that was in chair. like, yeah. I know it's, it's like really just truly time to think, honestly, when like, Brooks, is I feel in like your all my best ideas for maybe have hit me in that your chair. Your phone is not anywhere. That. You can't, yeah. you know, just be consuming whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. I feel like that's good to have that time, mm-hmm. you know, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So I think that was in January that I told him about it. And then we started well, he was kind of like, oh, there must be something. And we kind of went back and forth about it for a little bit. And then I think you finally kind of looked more into it and we're like, oh, yeah, this actually could be like a really great product. Yeah. So then we started looking into like finding a supplier and yeah. Yeah, I, I really just I couldn't believe it. Like yeah. when I did the research, it was like, like too when good we to looked be true. at the market research, I was like, if you were to just go on Google and search like cute baby carriers, mm-hmm. like there's a few for sure, but the price point, it just like doesn't make sense for a lot of people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I know people for a fact are not buying these because of the price. What yeah. price point are you thinking right now? Like 200. <laughs> oh, for sure. That's a lot. Two, something 200. you can grow out of yeah. and you don't even right. know if it's worth the price. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. And there was like, you could go on Amazon and you could search for the same thing and you would find something that was in like the super cheap range. Like, yeah. 30 40 dollars but it wasn't hmm. the aesthetic that i think mm-hmm. kind of our deal ideal client and customer would yeah. be after or would yeah. be looking because for. i think that was a huge part of it is like there there are a lot of baby carriers on the market but for how big of a market it it is like there is definitely market share to be had <laughs> that's so surprising because you think it would be in like a saturated market i mean in some ways it is there there are so many but i just feel like there's not very many that are aesthetic and i feel like the modern mom is looking for like why it's 2023 why do we need i mean 2024 now but like why do we need to sacrifice style for functionality yeah. like yeah. why better, has no one fixed that yet? Yeah, technology now we can do this <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah totally yeah so i'm sure like you'll probably see more and more of those pop up but yeah it really is like such a small percentage for for all the ones that are on the market the ones that are actually like beautiful and aesthetically pleasing it's like a very it feels like a very small yeah. right. number and, and i think it's amazing to have a really like good looking product. And I Mm -hmm. think that was important to us, but I think going into it, we were like, we really need to sell the vision of why, like why we want every mom to try one of our carriers. Yeah. Sure. Why, Mm -hmm. why us over somebody else? Why us over somebody else that might come into the space six months from now, a year from now. And so we were thinking about that as we were creating this product, we were like, we have to sell the why and the vision. Because it so was that, that why for me of like, how, yeah how am I going to be myself felt. as a mom? And exactly. so I feel like as it was kind of happening, like it was these two parallel things happening. It was me finding myself as a mom and us starting this business and they really went hand in hand. And I feel like that's what we're really, that's our mission is to empower moms that they can still chase their dreams after they have a baby and they can still look good doing it. And yeah. they don't have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to do that mm-hmm. if they don't want to. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think that's, that's really our mission is to tell moms like, Hey, you don't your have life to stop doing, over. yeah, yeah. You don't have like to stop doing the things over. that you, you love. Still be passionate about things yeah. that you, and you were should doing before and you can still get out and do the same things. Mm-hmm. You can still get out and travel. You can still get out and yeah. do whatever you want to do. Whatever it is that sets your soul on fire. Like whether yeah. that's for some moms, that's being a stay at home mom and being able to have your baby close while you're like taking care of your other kids and like yeah. making meals or whatever. And right. for some people, like, I don't know, from stay at home moms to artists, to entrepreneurs, to like whoever it might be, content creators, like everyone, everyone has a need for it. I yeah. feel like, and I, I feel like what I've learned is that when you do become a mom, it's even more important to feed yourself and to do the things that fill your cup for sure. so that you're the best version of yourself for your baby. And I feel like that's kind of a big movement right now for moms. And you see, you see stuff talking about that all over the place, but I feel like that really is our mission to tell, like to give moms the power 
to do that and keep their baby close and like yeah. that they don't have to sacrifice one or the other and chasing their dreams doesn't mean that they aren't a good mom and having a baby doesn't mean that they have to stop chasing their dreams. Yeah. Exactly. I love that they could put it on themselves. I think yes. that's huge because I know the big one that we yes. have at home, anytime our, when our baby used it a lot, she, we always had to help each other. Yes, exactly. And then there was the strap that you would unfold and unfold again, unfold again. I'm like, how does this 20 foot thing wrap around me? Like how you said you have to watch a YouTube video every yes. time. Like yeah. it was great once you got it on. Yeah. But for certain things, then mm -hmm. they'd always be like sagging, sagging down. To and the ground. Like, yeah. yeah. It's just Seriously. hard to get like dialed in. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's hard. You, you probably don't want to grab for it all the time. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no, no. I know. It's just I know, not convenient. I know like I've seen it. Putting it on and, yeah. you know, so you just leave it. I think we made our kid hate it. To yeah. be honest, like, oh, I think she, we annoyed her. Like she will not. She can feel one. your energy no, when you're putting it on. Like, <laughs> get me out of this <laughs> right now, uh -huh. literally yeah. to this day. Yeah. So, um, going into our next question, how do you incorporate your artistic flair into what you do? I Man, I know you said a lot of it was based off what you felt you needed, but do you mm -hmm. do like market research, looking at competitors, or what kinds of things do you do? Yeah, I feel like we kind of look for inspiration all over. Like I'm always just like in our everyday lives, whether we're like shopping and like yeah. you're in a store and you see a fabric that you're like, oh my gosh, this would be so beautiful or just really looking for that inspiration everywhere that we go. And yeah. I think the thing like for me, I feel like my kind of artistic niche, I guess, is marketing. Like that's what really, like that's my passion and that's kind of my, I would say my zone of genius. Totally. So, yeah, so I feel like that's kind of where I thrive and where I try to um, incorporate, like, I don't know if you consider like writing an art, but I think so. For sure. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very creative. For me, yeah. it's, it's really trying, outlet, trying to get like. those, like those feelings that I have about the business and convey that emotion in yeah. the words that I use to market our product. For sure. Mm hmm I have that a question yeah. Yeah. about just creating your product in general. So did you have to make a prototype and like find the fabric? How, how does it work? Yeah. So we found a supplier who like they're, they make baby carriers. Oh, okay. That's what they do. Okay. So they, we, they had one that was kind of like, okay, this is like the vibe of what we want. And then we were able to kind of make tweaks and choose the fabric that we wanted and yeah. So okay. is that like all over the phone or? How does yeah. So yeah. it's basically all, all, all over the phone. Like you just contact the supplier and, mm -hmm. and hopefully you, you get a good one. Yeah. You yeah know? Which we yeah. have the best supplier. She's we like really the do. We lucked out ever. with her. She's, she's amazing, but yeah. She you, dreams with us, which is that's super awesome. Fun. She does. But yeah, basically you just kind of have a vision of what you want. Um, she showed us some like different fat fabrics that. We went through we, so we, many. We did go through a lot. Like she sent us a probably. I mean, quite a few samples before we were like, this is the one mm -hmm. that we want to run with production with. Yeah. yeah. And, and so it was, yeah, it took, yeah. it took months. I mean, it was months of work. And so you say you were looking and, at models that they had, you just point at something and say, I want to change this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would just say, okay, we like this. We want to change this. We want to. Were there limitations to that? Like, Not really. They no, much they're, do, they're like, amazing. Like they, them... they could do whatever you wanted to do. Like wow. you just have to. Like tell them what you want and then they... You have to be very specific about what you do Let, want. Yeah. And that sometimes is the hard part because for me, sometimes I have a vision in my head, but I like don't have it on paper. And so sometimes we have to like get a graphic designer to be like, okay, put this... Yeah. Like put my idea on paper so that I can send it. Totally. So that they can do something with it. But mm -hmm. something I'm really excited about is to like create our own fabrics and our own patterns. Like I, something that, cool. that I really mm -hmm. want to do is work That's with, cool. work with like small artists to create like prints. Yeah. And, I mean, like, <laughs> have you noticed any knockoffs yet? Like similar designs? Uh, not really. No. Have you? No. no. Well, that's good. Yeah. Can't catch up. You'd be yeah. way ahead of it by the time <laughs> yeah. they realize. And I think yeah. that's the thing is like, even if there is like, we don't want to be worried about that because we know no. that could be a thing and someone could come in and, sure. you know, we try to slash our price and, or whatever, but it's no. like, just, yeah. I think our vision of just like having really good marketing yeah, and like people knowing our brand name and like the yeah. reason behind why they're buying our product. It's yeah. like, I feel yeah. like we're at a reasonable price point that everyone will still want to buy ours because we're like the original. Yeah. You know and what I mean? If they don't, like, I feel like something that we talk a lot about and that we really strive for is like an abundance mindset in everything that we do. And I feel like when it comes to competitors, I have that same mindset. Like there's room, there's mm -hmm. room for everyone. And mm -hmm. like your success doesn't take away from my success. For sure. And I feel like that's, I feel like that's a big, a big thing. 
totally. Yeah. That's yeah. been one of the messages that we've been hearing a lot that I thought was cool to hear was like that there's a price point for everybody. Yeah. Right. Like totally. You don't have to lower yourself to go to that price point for that customer. Yeah. Like you will have a customer who exactly. will come kind of and pay for what you have. Well, and if you do like get into that kind of race to the bottom situation, it's just I, I just feel like that's not productive. Yeah, no. and, I, and I think like, you know, the mindset that we want to have is like we, we are passionate about moms wearing their babies, right, and being active and going out and, and doing what they're passionate about. And if there's another brand or company that has the same standards and morals that we do, like I think we'd be happy yeah, that great. there's totally. more people in the space <laughs> so that are inspired that, that are, yeah, that yeah. are – you know, they have the same vision and, and want the same thing for people. Yeah. So yeah. And like, I think we want for moms to have the carrier that's perfect for them. And if that's ours, amazing. And if there's a different one that speaks to them, like that they're marketing or whatever it is that speaks to them more, then that's great. Like you're not always going to be for everyone and that's, that's okay. But like, you know, you've done what you can to yeah. help them. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The number of things that like baby items that we got that we didn't end up using is crazy. So I just feel like it totally is personal preference and everybody kind of has something that works for them and something that doesn't and what works for one person might not work for another person and that's totally fine yeah but i yeah. feel like if you do like kind of get into that space of trying to cater to the masses then you you're not catering to anybody like yeah. i think we really want to cater to our our ideal customer and the person who resonates with our vision and like our product and yeah i feel like that's how you can grow is because yeah. you, you know what your ideal customer looks like and you're looking to serve them so you know how to market the to them you know yeah. what they're gonna like you know what they're not gonna like yeah and i, I feel like that's so important important to niche down to a specific audience mm -hmm. and to a degree yeah. yeah to a degree so if you had a buyout for like five million dollars today, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know. Honestly, no. I don't keep building it. You believe in it more? Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Awesome. To hear that. That's yeah. really exciting. So have you faced any obstacles that in this last year that I what mean, are have taught the you anything? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, for sure we have. I feel have. like we've I, been our I own think, biggest obstacles. I, I think that's the thing. Is like most of the year was just spent like on product design and actually like deciding if we were going to pull the trigger on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like that was the biggest obstacle was like, okay, we got all these designs and then the voice in the back of your head creeps up and it's like, okay, do we do this? Do we yeah. spend this money yeah. to order the first batch? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So were you already financially invested like pretty heavily before you have to place that first order from just designing and no. all that? No. I mean, no. you pay for the samples, but until so you, you place pull a the bulk trigger, order, it's, not like, it's like you lose yeah. maybe a couple hundred bucks. Not the end of the no, world. No, they don't start producing like a bulk order for you until you place that down payment. Yeah. So until then, it was just kind of. Yeah. So I feel like that was the biggest thing is like we had just the chaos of like having a new baby in the home and, you know, yeah. and my business was like really thriving at the time. And I was like just super invested in that still am, but mm -hmm. like. You know, I was just like, can we take on one more thing? And so I think we just, we probably wasted, honestly, a couple months. Yeah, we did just definitely going back waste and some forth time. and being like. I mean, I don't know if it's wasted, it's but we not definitely wasted, but like, spent some time. Doing your due diligence. Yeah, yeah, we were just like wanting to make sure that this was the right thing. And yeah. we mm -hmm. felt it. Like the minute we, we saw the market research, we both felt like this could be something mm -hmm. so big. Yeah. And it was just like what you refer to it as is like the full body yes. Yes. Right? And yeah. it's like. And, and we both felt that we, it was, you know, just like a spiritual yes for both of us. And so I don't know why we delayed so long, probably just because, you know, we, we, we both were just, well, I think hesitant. it took us some you time know, to get to that full body. To, yes. With it. Yeah, for sure. And I assume that minimum first purchase like wasn't cheap. No, I no. mean, so, it's not a small investment. Yeah, <laughs> so like it's you have scary. to make sure it's the right decision. Yeah. yeah it's scary. Yeah. And you're like, Oh crap! Like, are we going to be actually be able to sell these things? Like, I think we will. But yeah, <laughs> like, we're going to end up with a lot of baby carriers in our garage. You guys. <laughs> like, at what point yeah. when you were designing it, did you say it's done? Like, this is it. We don't want to tweak it anymore. Like, did you ever have a moment where even now you're probably still thinking of things? Always, yeah, I mean, I'm sure but, what our product is now, like, it'll be probably a little bit different a couple of years from now, and I think we'll always be trying to improve it and listen. I mean, really, we're going to be listening to our customers' feedback over the next little while because we i mean we just got the first round of these in people's hands a little over a month ago so i think yeah. that's going to be huge and seeing kind of what mm -hmm. people what people think and mm -hmm. of course if there's feedback of like oh this would be better and we get like lots of that from customers we'll obviously do our best to to make it exactly exactly what people want and if there's things that can 
improve it like that'll always be our goal to mm -hmm. right. just make it the best that we can so yeah so i feel like that was the biggest obstacle it was just like placing the order mm -hmm. just doing it and just then after that i feel yeah. like the biggest thing has just been like believing in ourselves and believing in the vision and like and really um like not forgetting that feeling because we we really feel like so just deeply about the potential of this brand and about the message and about just the whole the whole, it, it's like it has you found a, a new, spirit of its own a new niche that <laughs> yeah. no one was really doing yeah yeah it's yeah. another baby not with the yeah. marketing part of it because looking at <laughs> yeah. your page is very aesthetic and it's clear thank that you. you've like thanks put that you, thought guys. into it <laughs> yeah <laughs> well no even before you, yeah thank you yeah. Yeah. even before then you could tell that you had a style that you were going yeah. for and it was like very cohesive and yeah. like totally fit from like when i looked at it what i felt the brand would be yeah, so right. totally. yeah thanks thanks yeah, yeah. you have an incredible good job. vision like as far as like what you are, like are looking for you're just like super like you just know what you want you know what it needs to look like and then you just like make it happen thanks like it's incredible <laughs> like thank you yeah did you go to school for marketing no. You say, no no okay. no i feel like um so my other business my cake business wake and cake uh i feel like that's kind of where i learned my love for that I and see kind of honed that a little bit. I mean, I'm by no means an expert, but I feel like I definitely got some good experience with that and kind of realized like, Hey, I think I'm kind of good at this. So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And, and when you were doing wake and cake, you're like, I love the marketing site. Mm -hmm. But then when it came to making the cakes, yeah, you loved it too. And, and they tasted incredible, it but you were just this. like, that's where you started getting drained. Yeah. You know? I definitely, the burnout was real with that yeah. business. Yeah. Like it definitely felt like a grind. It didn't feel like a very good trade off, like time, time wise versus like yeah. what you mm -hmm. make money wise. And it's like, no matter how high I raised my prices, I still felt that way. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like, yeah. I don't know, the more I kind of got burnt out on that, I feel like it was starting to kind of reflect. I don't know. I mean, it would be interesting to know an outsider's perspective. On that. <laughs> I felt like it started to reflect in like what I was doing, but mm -hmm. Felt maybe less care, less like yeah. drive. Well, I we think I just harder. had yeah. like really ups and downs with that business. It was like sometimes I was really excited about it and like really inspired. And then other times, and I think that's with anything that you do, but yeah. I feel like I was more on the burnout side than the inspiration side. Sure. <laughs> when yeah. you're yeah. having to work really, really hard. Time. Yeah. But it's, I don't know. I mean, there yeah. are things that I do miss about, about that business sometimes too. So yeah, it was fun. And that was all in your own that you were running the cake business? Yeah, like it was just like a home, home bakery situation. And so I bet that, yeah, I bet that was really exhausting. It was. Yeah. And, and feeling like, I mean, I guess we're, so that means we're your work was at home then too. Yeah. Which it is now again for <laughs> now, but yeah, <laughs> hopefully not for much longer. <laughs> hopefully not. It's but chaotic. yeah, feeling like your, your kitchen is like always a crazy mess because like you're making cakes in your right. kitchen. And then like, I never wanted to cook for my family because I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm just so sick of being oh, in I here. And like, that. it's such a mess. And like, yeah, yeah, it was, it was an ideal. Just gives you general, like cooking food burnout. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Like, yeah. Like I, you go get some food. I don't want to make you any food. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but when you do make cakes now, it's like, okay, I, I remember why there was yeah. a fire doing there. this because it was like yeah. this is so good and I really <laughs> liked like I feel like I built a really special community with that and that's I think that's maybe what I miss more than anything because in that that business like it was me showing up on there like my personality and like I kind of got to be the face of it and I feel like with maybe it's more about the product and it's like hmm. it's just on a different level like more I guess just more professional and less personal. Okay. So yeah. we saw this video the other day of like all these moms like doing this like line dance, like all wearing their babies. And I was like, oh, we should do that with our yeah. carriers. Yeah, <laughs> Some cute videos that. for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. get togethers. Um, going back to your marketing strategies. Do you have a strategy since you've gotten all that experience from like the cake stuff? What have you like brought with you? I feel like the the heart of it is to make it about the people and okay. make it about those connections and it's making, like what do you do literally i feel like the biggest thing is like i talked about like conveying that emotion in like our captions and in our okay like everything that we put out like trying to make it really speak to that I ideal see. customer and really feel like we're speaking to you as a mom and to your needs and so I feel like having that come across with like all of our messaging, but then also like I try really hard to respond to like every single message with like a very genuine response and like make those connections and 
that gets harder and harder the more that we grow. I feel like it's impossible yeah. to keep up <laughs> with yeah, all the messages. That's and awesome, stuff. though, that you have so many it's messages. So cool. yeah, yeah, I mean, that's it's so amazing. Cool. I'm so grateful for it. But yeah, yeah I feel like that's definitely kind of the heart of it is yeah, making just sure that we're focused that on the people. emotion in other people. Uh-huh. Like the same, we, we want yeah. other people to, to feel the same way that we do about it. Mm-hmm. And she's, you've always been so talented at like creative writing. Thanks. And so being able to implement that in our business, like when people read it, and I find myself like even tearing up from time to time. I'm like, <laughs> why am I tearing up over this, this post? But it's, you're just so yeah. talented at it. You know, Thank it's you. like, and I think we've seen that, like people are so passionate already about our brand. Yeah. And I think it's because we're, you know, we're setting a stage for these people of what they can accomplish with our carrier. Yeah. yeah. And that's been our marketing. Well, plan. and I it's think like, there just is so much like genuinely authentic emotion from me about is. like how I feel about the the product and the brand and how special it is to me. Yeah. yeah. And, and what I, it did for you. Yes. As a mom. Yes, yeah. totally. And I feel like I my hope is that that comes across and that people feel that through the screen and people feel that when they hold our product. Like I like to think that I have poured so much energy. Oh, I just, sorry, bumped the mic. I like to think that I poured so much energy and positive emotion into this that people literally physically feel it when they hold our product. Like that's my goal. I like that you have your personality into it and like evoking the emotions because sometimes yeah. that can be hard because mm-hmm. sometimes like you want to make your business just like so cut and dry and like yeah i'm think, selling my product yeah, yeah. It's like that selling can't the always features work. of the product yeah, right and it's exactly. like and i feel like line. i battle yeah. with that because yeah. i i try to kind of toe that line of like yes i do want our brand to be very polished and professional but i don't want it to feel sterile i don't want it to feel bland like i don't yeah i i do want it to feel personal like so corporate. kind of yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i think that's one of the battles that i have with myself is like how much do i how personal do I make it or how I, I think I'm always trying to balance that. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. with what we were talking about, like 2024, like, I think that's what sells these days. Like people yeah. want real and authentic. Yes, we don't want to see totally. the fake show. Like we yeah. want to really know what's going on. Yeah, totally. Because we're all feeling it and mm-hmm. we want to see it validated. Yeah, totally. you know? Everyone's very aware these days of how business works with like commerce and buying products. And yeah. anyone that has a, a business of their own would understand how important it is to support mm-hmm. other people around and yeah that's why i think that story yeah matters so much because i mean everyone knows you can just go on amazon and buy yeah. it right like Whatever a cheaper version sure yeah. but you know yeah. it's yeah. just like not really helping anyone but jeff bezos and <laughs> right like right, right. Yeah. it's yeah. way more satisfying to support someone who actually yeah. cares about their totally. product and has a cool story yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and to your point i think that's what people are looking for like they want to find a maybe smaller brand that you know, they definitely, that speaks to them. Yeah. That's still providing the same things that they could have got out exactly. of that other brand. Mm-hmm. You know, because I think that's yeah. what I look for. Like when I try to like make clothing purchases or whatever it is, it's like, I want to find a brand that actually cares about what they're doing yeah. and they're putting time and effort into making a difference mm-hmm. and yeah. they're demonstrating that. And so I feel different about how I come across when I wear their brand. Mm-hmm. For sure. You know, and I feel like that's what is probably going to be moving forward is like just very small niche brands and, you know, the kind of the big box stores are, I think they're always going to have their place, but I think they're going to be more mm-hmm. and more kind of just outdated. Yeah. As yeah. Well, I think people yeah. love brands to support can come, a small come business. to light and come forward. And Okay. We kind of talked about pricing a little bit, but did you struggle at all with coming up with your price point? Um, I was pretty, like, I knew exactly where we wanted to be. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to have a cheap product. Like, that's not our goal. Like, our goal is to have something that's, it feels luxury, it's quality. It, it feels like something that maybe you do have to, like, think about buying, you know? I mean, $120 isn't cheap do by any research. means. Yeah. Sure. So, I feel like we really wanted to come into this space as, like, kind of the everyday luxury option yeah Yeah. so it's not like it's not like a designer purchase that's like hundreds and hundreds or thousands of dollars yeah Yeah. Yeah. um but it's not cheap like it's not just the 30 bucks like oh yeah like whatever like i feel like it's something that you definitely feel like is it's just quality like yeah you feel the quality yeah Yeah. i I do feel like price matters though like so much because (sighs) if you price your your uh, product you know under 80 70 bucks like it feels like a cheaper product right Mm -hmm. versus pricing it at over 100 like that becomes more premium but we wanted like you were saying we wanted it to be at a price point that you know felt like okay this is a premium product but it's not out of reach like not out of reach for everyone so that's 100 is the new 20 these days that's exactly right sadly yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, that's terrible but yeah (laughs) (laughs) it is is. so 
It's kind of like an affordable luxury. You I mean, mentioned yeah. like, like the market research. Was that just you guys looking online or did you do like polls anywhere? Um, like yeah, we mostly just like or... kind of looked at what was already on the market. We did like, I mean, I have so many friends with babies and we talked to them about like what they would pay. And I, I mean, a lot of people tell us that we could charge more for our product and I, we could, but I, I want it to be attainable for sure. the everyday mom. And yeah. that's the goal. Yeah. So right now it's just the carrier, right? There's mm-hmm. no, it's, are you thinking of like accessories and other options of like, yeah, things? I mean, we'll definitely expand our product line over yeah. time. I think we want to be very thoughtful about what products we add. And like, I think the maybe brand will be, will be well fleshed out at some point, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. yeah, for now it's just Long-term the carrier. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But yes, we very definitely cool. have big plans to, to do a lot more. We don't yeah, know more what, colors. What is, I mean, yeah, I, I think we definitely, you know, we, we need to get more yeah. colors on. There, it's going like, to start with more SKUs of the current product uh, for sure. sure. And I think we'll kind of build that out mm-hmm. and then dip our toes in different products. That's actually products. so nice that it's like a one size fits all product. Seriously. It is. I was just thinking of SKUs and I'm like, you have a size run. Oh, you don't man. have a size Wouldn't run. That's that so nice. It that's is. That's just oh like, my gosh. It, it is so nice. overwhelming to me, you know, to have all the different sizes, all the different SKUs. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. like, it's a whole nother so level. so nice that we have yeah. just great. one product. And yeah. we've thought about that. Like we were like, we're grateful that we just have one product that fits uh-huh. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's very nice. Mm-hmm. It's so nice. Was that always the thought when building it? Um, what do you mean? To one make product? it one size fits yeah. all? I, think I mean, I think most carriers are. I think there yeah. are a few that you can buy in like different sizes. Um, Clearly, I haven't looked very yeah. hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, for the most part, I think they're pretty much all one size fits yeah. all. Um, so yeah, our, I mean, you guys know because you've photographed the product, but the waist strap expands substantially as do the shoulder straps so Mm -hmm. the cool thing is that like if you're like a petite mom and you have like a tall large husband like you guys can both wear it you know or the other way around like I love that it's inclusive yeah Mm -hmm. so do you have any collaborations in the future or ones that you have worked on that have helped your business yeah I think collaboration has been huge it's been a huge part of the success that we've seen social media has been what's sparked I think everything okay. right now. I mean, that's all we've done. That's like, all we've done. We haven't really paid media. for anything. Just um, Instagram or? Just Instagram and TikTok. Yeah. And TikTok. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Where are you seeing it the most reach? TikTok or Instagram? Um, it kind of, I mean, for sure, Instagram has been our kind of our main stomping grounds. I mean, that's where I'm the most comfortable. I never had TikTok before yeah. starting this <laughs> brand. So um, I think that's that's where I'm the most active for sure. But yeah. TikTok, I mean, the power of TikTok is crazy. Like just the way that things can just pop and go super viral, super fast on All TikTok. All over the world too. Yeah. All over the world. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's yeah. been huge. We have had tons of international sales. And, really? And TikTok, cool. that's why. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. that's been fun. And that was something that we, you know, I guess that was an obstacle we were trying to overcome yeah, too. That we was probably should obstacle. have talked about that. International like, shipping. International shipping. So <laughs> yeah. how much more is that? Well, it's, it's, it's so quite expensive. a lot. More. Is it like DHL? Yeah. What do you use? Um, we just use UPS yes. uh, for most, I would say, yeah, I think yeah, all of our international all. shipments are UPS and it is, it's so expensive. And I think like big, like big businesses and like box stores and stuff and, um, obviously like Amazon, they have so much volume that they can get those shipping rates down, but our international shipping rates, they're so high right now. And I know they are. And people message me, they're like, the shipping is so expensive to where I live. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like we will like just yeah. as much as really the try to get that it's down. Dang close. It's yeah. terrible. So we're trying it depends to work, on where they're at, work but yeah, on getting that down. That's surprising for something that's pretty lightweight. Yeah. Like, yeah. You wouldn't think. I, you would think, but it's, it it's, boggles my it's mind. It's bad. It's yeah. bad. And we just like the international shipping cost is just determined by the carrier. Like they just choose their rate and it. So we just pass it through whatever it is. We're not even making money on that shipping at at all. But I think eventually like we, we definitely want to like try to get that down by, you know, maybe having a bulk order go to a specific country where we're getting a lot of orders. You want to know more of like where they're being bought from. Yeah, exactly. But, but we did want to give everyone that option. And I think people were like begging for that option Mm -hmm. when, um, before we launched, you started the Instagram and started just building momentum and creating a following. So when we launched, we had, you know, a decent amount of people Mm -hmm. that were excited about the product Mm -hmm. and a lot of the I would say a lot of the top comments were, are you going to be shipping internationally? Are you going to be shipping internationally? Yeah. And so totally. we wanted to make that 
accessible yeah. to everybody. Yeah. So the thing and is, and allow like, them to if they wanted to pay it, yeah. they could pay it. Sure. That's the thing. Is that you yeah. If you want it bad enough, yeah. If you want it, great. And if not, like the alternative is for us not to ship to those countries. So yeah, and it's a little bit more work for us. So we were just like it is toying the with do we just do the US more. only or do we go international? Yeah. And we ended up doing international. Yeah. It's been fun. Learning yeah. curve. It's with <laughs> besides the actual and, pain more, what makes the international harder? I mean, you have to do all the customs things and it oh. requires extra forms yeah, and like you have to put this forms and extra. we learned the hard way. We like yeah. like four year. We, we got the forms on in. there wrong on the first, the first shipment and we had to redo all of them. Yeah, we the, had to redo all the this. We peeled all the labels <laughs> off and then we had to put the international label on and then mm. add the and we threw all of the all of the uh, what are they the uh, international slips, the customs the custom form we threw all of them away. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, on the first. Like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. Yeah, like, like well, there was three that printed. Well, no, this was what happened, and like this is just the epitome of as like you learn as you go. Yeah, yeah. literally. <laughs> because, Which I like, love doing. I should have known but, this, yeah. but I didn't. And so when when I went to print the customs forms, it was like printing three, and I was like, why do I, like why is it printing? this three times. We like, thought it was an error. I thought it was just an error that it was like duplicating hmm. it. So I was like, okay, let me just print one of each. Okay. And then we found out that we actually needed all three. And that's why we had to end up like redoing all of them because we had to add the other two because they yeah. have to go inside like the, there's like this little slip that you put little on the box yeah. and then the customs forms like have to go inside thing. and you have to sign all of them. Hmm. So yeah, it's, so it's a little bit more work, but, yeah. but it's so fun. I think that's like the most fun part is like yeah. seeing where all of them are going uh -huh. and the international orders are so yeah. cool. Like that is really had, cool. What are some of the places? So we've sold in all 50 states and I think like, wow, last time I checked, it was 12, um, I think 12 foreign countries, 14, but that was before this restock. So, cool. so I wow. think we probably are more like 15 foreign countries now. So yeah, that's like that's so, so special cool. to know that it's like literally all Where's over the, the world. Where's the most crazy right? one? Um, we've had, um, we've had a bunch to like the Netherlands. We've had cool. so many from Canada. This could be so Netherlands. Yeah. 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 Have you been to Amsterdam? No, I haven't, You need to go I there for some inspiration. It's so yeah. go there on an inspiration trip. And yeah. I would, really I would go there. I'd move there tomorrow. Yeah. That's, that's on amazing. my bucket list. Wow. Yes. Singapore. Yeah. Yeah, Singapore, Croatia, Do your Cayman customers <laughs> send pictures to you of them? When oh, they yeah. Get them? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. all the time. We had someone send us a picture and, um... They were standing in front of, it must have been some landmark. I can't remember now, but she, so cool she sent me the picture. She's that. like, we, um, I think I'm the first customer to bring this product to Honduras. I just wanted to send you a picture. Cute. And I was like, that. the fact that people take the time to send me those things, like that just melts my heart. And it's so like, cool. literally, I'm so happy. Like, it's, it. I'm so like, grateful every single time someone sends so me a picture. Cool. It's so mm. sweet. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. Wow. That's really cool. Um, Are you able to use that stuff on social media? Like the pictures yeah. I send you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if they, like, sometimes I'll ask, like, hey, would you be okay with us posting this on our page? And if they give us permission, then yeah. Yeah. We do have, like, so many people. It, it, I think it surprises us, like, so many yeah. people, like, the reach out. Of and, like, people who, like, repost it on their repost own stories. Or and, like, leave it's us amazing. super nice comments, like, just message us to say thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it's just. That's so the best part. That's my favorite to, thing. Cool. To, to see that and like yeah. see that people are loving our product. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's just yeah. seeing the impact on like the individual customer because it's like we see all these orders go out and stuff, but to actually have that individual person tell me their experience with it and tell me that they love it as much as I do, like that means everything. Yeah. yeah. So it's really cool to impact the way someone feels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look good, you feel good. And uh -huh. yeah. You put that on and totally. you're not wearing something with straps hanging all yeah. over. Like, Clinking totally. around. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Seriously. I yeah. think that's why I thought there were multiple sizes because I was like, ours has to be a bigger yeah, one. because of how big it stretches out. How many these things and the way the straps hang and just like, there's no way this yeah. is supposed to be like that. Yeah. yeah. But it is, I, I guess. So. It is. It's totally. It yeah, is. It's so funny. <laughs> so how do you balance your creativity and being a mom? I mean, I think that's still a work in progress mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. I think Bounce it's hard, day to day like, life. Yeah, the work life balance. I mean, a lot of times I feel like I'm trying to juggle both at the same time, and that's really hard. Um, but a lot I mean, of it's just, just in between naps for yeah, you right now. Yeah, you like know, nap like time goes to, is to work time, and, and then, like after yeah. he goes to bed, like that's when we're like in our garage boxing up and fulfilling orders. <laughs> yeah. Like literally, the amount of hours that we spent, like we, yeah. we literally have fulfilled everything ourselves. That's up awesome. To this is point. that what takes the most of your time right now? Yeah, Unfortunately, and that's the hard and thing. I think, yeah, that's that's the part hmm. that it, that's physical tough. packing. Yeah, it's like it just takes time to pack a box and get the label on it. It's like 
that is limiting us from being more creative. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And it's like, we want to try to not do that because we know somebody else could do that yeah. and, and would yeah. do that. To hire someone. And then yeah. we can just focus on, you know, just that creative marketing and, mm-hmm. and what we're actually passionate about. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I think that's the hard thing right now is because so it's a hard are, balance right now. Cause it's, it's hard yeah. to let go of though. To it let is. That's how we feel it's too. so hard. Yeah. To yeah. What if they mess up packaging right. yeah. and that's on you to explain. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. And it's totally. like, we just can't have that. Yeah. Ex- yeah, yeah. Yeah. That reach uh-huh. that we <laughs> no, currently sure. have. So, so that's a good tough. point. Like yeah. with, we worked in retail mm-hmm. and so, part of our jobs was like, we had to do the online shipments like oh, yeah. all the time. Yeah. And so especially from Hawaii, you just, it was like a daily thing. You'd get like 50 to a hundred orders to pack each morning. Yeah. And- yeah. And it would be like person to person on how nice that order was packed. It was yeah. almost oh, like yeah. a totally. test of totally. totally. their attention to detail. <laughs> yeah. you know, I you personally get, yeah. didn't care. <laughs> and I would throw everything in that yeah. bag. And I think I was with Dan one day and he like had it like perfectly like doing everything. I was like, what are you doing? Yeah, I was the opposite. I like pushed the air out of the poly bag, would fold it. Yeah. Um, and by the time it was done, oh it was like gosh, a perfect yeah. square, the label on the same side every yes. time. And I was oh like, that took you 15 minutes. We know you yeah. call now and we need help. Yeah, yeah. seriously. No. Uh, either, yeah. 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 no, we did our first, our first two rounds. We mailed in poly mailers and it was that, it was like trying to get the mailer perfect. It was like wrapping a present and it took so mm-hmm. long yep. mm-hmm. and it was such a pain. And this round we did boxes and it was that's, so much better, nice. so much easier. Yeah. So okay. what, do you, what do you stuff inside with it? Um, so the carrier comes, oh, anything? I meant to bring one. Oh yeah. I forgot to bring it. Jeez, oh my gosh. Look at us. It comes in a we'll box. Put a picture on the screen. Yeah. Here, so. yeah. <laughs> you can picture here. Yeah. Um, the carrier comes prepackaged in like our branded box and it like Cute. slides mm-hmm. open and you see the carrier. So that's, that that's nice. box that's awesome. just goes that. inside of like a cardboard Easy. box to mail. And cool. yeah. That's way cute better though. than poly mailers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's like a thank you card in the manual yes. and the yeah, like cool. um, product registration that's thing so fun. is inside yeah. there. Coming so, up yeah. with all that stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want a product. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It's that's really fun. fun. Would yeah. recommend. Yeah, no, that's really cool. Inspired for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so do you have any advice for someone who's trying to start their own business? Absolutely. I feel yeah. like our <laughs> biggest piece of advice would just be like the only person who's limiting you is you and like you you can literally do anything that you set your mind to I think it's a matter of being willing to get out of your comfort zone and figure things out and do things wrong like Mm -hmm. it's just inevitable to make mistakes because that's knowing that's how you're gonna learn you know Mm -hmm. I, I feel like we don't give ourselves as much credit as you know i think we're capable than way more than yeah. we even think and i think sometimes whether it's our upbringing or whatever we you know however we were told by somebody it's like we limit ourselves yeah, and yeah. I for sure like, i agree yeah and i yeah. feel like oh we can't be that those people to yeah. make a company this big or we can't be the person to do this mm-hmm. but like why not mm-hmm. literally you why know? not yeah why yeah. not like everyone else is doing it and the funny thing is is nobody else has it figured out I either. think that's what you yeah. learn right yeah. Yeah. Else is figuring yeah. it out as they go and so I think that's like some the, people are just doing better at yeah. it at that moment than others. exactly but everyone's like nobody's still... born just knowing how to do all that stuff like right I think that's the funny thing is you look at other people who have businesses and you're like oh my gosh they have it all together and they know how to do this isn't this and it's like well and the only reason they know is because they learned like they I'm sure they had yeah. I feel like, I feel like yeah. social media is so it's so hard sometimes because that's all you see. Yeah. Like sure. Someone who starts a business, they're just like showing all the perfect moments. Mm-hmm. And you're if you're not like having those perfect moments, you're like, well, what am I doing wrong? Yeah. Well, and it's scary you know? to like want to share the things that you do wrong because you're like, oh, like do I look what are people? Do I look think? really, like, really wrong? Like <laughs> yeah. just discrediting myself wrong? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 It's scary it's to be vulnerable, balance, which but, I think is mm-hmm. why you don't see people sharing that. Yeah, yeah. And I think you just have to come across as like authentic. You know, mm-hmm. and if authentic. you're authentic and and you know, that's what you put out is the same version of you time and yeah. time again, people will be like, Okay, well, I like that person because I know who they are. Yeah, for you sure. Mm-hmm. And, and you won't, I mean, you won't please everyone. Yeah, you won't. So I, I think just telling people to believe in themselves. Just take the leap of faith and do it, mm-hmm. you know, and figure it out as you go. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what we did. And it's yeah. just like, it, it's surreal that we're like doing what we're doing right now. Because a year ago, we, you know, we just thought of literally a year ago. This. I'm yeah. just still impressed with this yeah. timeline. This mm-hmm. is so fast. I know. It's, it's, it's crazy <laughs> to so us impressed. too. And sometimes yeah. we wake up and we have to like pinch ourselves that we're actually here yeah. doing it. But the wait felt so long too. So I it's know. like, it's. It felt Fine. like it was all it's we talked about and all we thought it. about for so long. So yeah. it's crazy. So but, now you're like, now what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now oh, no, we, we know exactly now, what. Now we have There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of what. Got for a us long to list. Do. <laughs> yeah. 
That's so funny. Well, thank you so much for coming on our podcast today. Yeah, yeah. thank it's you so guys. so great to hear about your business and how you got started. Thanks. Well, I have to give a plug for you guys because oh, you guys okay. did such an amazing job with our web photos mm-hmm. and yeah. like, I can't wait to keep working so with you guys. So many people Seriously, have asked the, like, yeah. who did all your photos? Who did like the photography for the pictures? Like yeah. it looks amazing. So like it just awesome. was exactly what are, I wanted. I had a vision talented. and you guys and like executed it 1000%. Thank you. Yeah. Thank there's, you. It's fun to have this talent in our local town and yeah. able to use mm-hmm. local people. So yeah, it's like totally. you guys are doing an incredible well, job. Well, thank you so much. Love Cause we always talk about like, we don't have the actual product and things ourselves, but mm-hmm. we love getting to like we live vicariously yeah, through like our hearts yeah. into these products. Yeah, and like well, we you. couldn't do it without yeah. you. So we really great. couldn't. Great. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, everyone, follow Maybe Carriers. M A B E. Yes. Yep. Maybe Carriers is our Instagram handle and our TikTok handle, and then our website is Maybe Products. Maybe Products dot com. Mm-hmm. Maybe okay, everyone, go yeah. and get your luxury baby carrier. <laughs> yeah. Thanks okay. for having us. You guys Bye. are the best. Yeah. Yeah.